And this is a large part of history. It's a treasure. Challenging. It's killer. In the beginning, it's slow and steady. From the bridge up, the incline is pretty steep, and that's what we call halfway, even though it's not. But it's the most challenging part of the stairs. This is a place where I like to go because I did my last hike with my uncle before he died. So every time I come up to Coco Head, I do this hike in remembrance for him now. One thing about, about the hill, <clears throat> it breaks down social barriers. You hear Russian, you hear French, you hear German. We're almost uh, Ohana, I'm almost a family. When I moved here, this was my exercise every day. Back in 2006, I got into a motorcycle accident. And because of that, I'd lost my leg. There was a few times when I actually drove by here and looking up to the top of the crater, I would think to myself like that, that part of me is gone, thinking I'd never be able to make it up to the top again. I felt so good inside that it was back. Like I knew at that point I'd be able to move forward with life and everything would be fine. It's pretty special. It definitely used to be a lot more even in the steps and you could run up and you could run down or just, you know, taking it easy. But now um, it's a lot more uneven. Some ties are broken. This place, for me, it's, it's a workout and now I've gained friends and we started the Coconut Coalition. So I have a responsibility now to help and save and repair the stairs and not only get my workout, but just do my part. Every time I look up at the Mauna, it reminds me that I have to keep respecting what happens up in Malka areas or upland so that Makai or the shoreline will be protected and preserved and respected as well. Seems like it's just some railroad tracks and some rail ties all the way up to the top, but it's a pretty magical place part of history that, that is being lost if we don't do something to, to restore it. Thank you.